Hello everyone, so I have quite the interesting aquarium product to show you guys today and this is going to be my first time opening up and testing out one of these units so I'm very excited to take you guys along the ride. This is the Cactoli or Cactoli, however you want to pronounce it, aquarium monitor. So this is a two piece unit, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the box real quick. And the idea here is this is a constant aquarium monitor that's basically able to display six key elements of your aquarium's water available for you to view at a glance. So it includes a few pieces, the first one being the probe, which is this large piece right here. This is what goes in the aquarium. I know, it's quite large. We'll go ahead and connect this cord real quick, which will then also connect into the controller. This part is external. So essentially your probe will go in the aquarium and the display unit right here will go on the outside of the aquarium. Now this unit promises to provide 24 seven continuous monitoring. It does not connect to an app, so it's not controlled by your phone. It's simply controlled by just looking at the screen. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and put up a chart right here that I was provided. Um, it's in the instruction manual and this shows the range and the accuracy for this because that was one of my questions when I first saw this product was really how accurate can it be and we're going to test that as soon as we get this set up. But being that I'm going to set this up on a saltwater tank, the six bases it covers are perfect for me. Those include pH, the temperature, your TDS, electrical conductivity, salinity and specific gravity. So there's really only a few that I honestly care about there, specifically temperature, pH and salinity, but to have those three key elements of a reef tank displayed right on the side of the tank is hopefully gonna be very convenient. Also included is some calibration solution. I went ahead and double checked with the manufacturer. The unit comes pre-calibrated and they recommend calibrating it every six months and the probe can last up to 18 months. To power the display, you also get a USB plug as well as the cord and this will plug right into the bottom of that white controller. To set this up, we're gonna take the probe right here and install these two suction cups and we're also gonna remove this plastic cover on the bottom. To mount the controller itself, you actually get two magnets that have little sticky patches on the back. So you can stick this to the aquarium and it will magnet right into the front glass. Then we'll just take the power cord and plug it in. Setup is honestly way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So as you can see, I have the probe and the controller mounted right here in my sump. I put the probe inside the sump right next to the float valve to my auto top off, and then I just have the controller magneted right to the front of my sump, which gives super convenient access. I just open the tank stand and I can visually see the monitor right there. Now here's the display itself. As you can see at a glance, you can pretty much view everything. There are a couple settings you can go into. For example, I was able to change the temperature to show Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. You can also manually calibrate the pH probe using the calibration solution included. The manual surprisingly walks you through the calibration process pretty smoothly, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. Now taking a closer look at the display, I think an important part of a controller like this is obviously its accuracy. So I wanted to focus in on a few key points here. So for me, most importantly, the specific gravity in the top right, the temperature in the middle right, and the pH on the middle left are gonna be the three metrics that I'm gonna use most often. Salinity as a percentage, as well as electrical conductivity really aren't super important to me right now. But I figured we could go ahead and highlight the accuracy straight out of the box. So for starters, temperature, this reader is saying it's 77.5 degrees. We'll double check that in a minute. For reference, it's hard to see back there, but my aquarium heater is set at 78. So that reading is perfect. Next up, we're gonna do pH, which here is showing 8.11. And using a HANA tester right here for reference, the pH is being monitored here at 7.8. Next up, using this HANA salinity checker, we're gonna go ahead and check the salinity real quick. And it's also important to note that this unit has been calibrated um, as of yesterday. And right there, we are sitting at 1.024 and the temperature of 77.2. So now, despite the temperature being very accurate, the salinity is still showing off at one point compared to the HANA checker. So to fix that, or to account for that, I should say, we're gonna click the settings button and we're gonna go into the specific gravity right here and we're gonna adjust that up one to 1.024. This will account for that little margin of error and will more accurately display the tank's results. Now, other than calibrating this unit every six months using the pH solution, that's pretty much all the setup that's needed. And I think the beauty of where an aquarium monitor like this would really shine is monitoring how temperatures or pH swing throughout the day. For example, sometimes in reef tanks, the pH tends to drop at night. With something like this that's able to continually monitor those parameters, Technically, you can check in on it every hour and build a graph basically of how your aquarium fluctuates throughout the day. Now, unfortunately, this is not a connected unit, meaning 
It's not gonna connect to your phone. It's not gonna build that graph for you. It's simply used for real-time results. So you're not gonna get any sort of aquarium history with this product. You're just gonna be able to view it at a glance, which is pretty convenient in itself. But if you're looking for something to monitor your aquarium while you're away, this is definitely not that product. For the price though, setup was super easy and I'm more than pleased with how this unit works. And once it is all set up in your aquarium, you should be good to go for six months before you even have to think about it again, other than checking in on it whenever you wonder how your tank's doing.